let's do our makeup and get ready for a baby shower first thing i'm gonna do is just go through my aesthetica palette and literally just cover any blemishes i have that i don't want to show through my makeup i don't want to do anything too crazy today but my skin is having a little panic attack. I don't wanna do anything crazy today for makeup, so I'm literally just gonna go in with my ColourPop and I'm just gonna put a little bit of like a bronze right in the crease of my eye. And that's all we're gonna do for eyeshadow because it's a very small little get together and I don't feel like doing anything crazy. Now I'm gonna take my little pencil and I'm literally just going to ready line so that's done you're gonna take a little bit of your concealer put a line right there like that okay we're gonna go into our aesthetica palette we're not really gonna do anything crazy today just gonna put a little bit everywhere a little goes a long way with this palette this is more of a palette for if you want to go a little bit more natural for the day and you don't want to put anything crazy on it's going to show all of your imperfections but don't worry about that because we don't always need to wear crazy amounts of makeup right i'm gonna go for like the no makeup makeup look for my skin so that's what we're doing today all right guys we're gonna go in with the same palette and we're just gonna go like that I'm rushing a lot today because I, my daughter went down for a nap and instead of getting ready for the party, what was I doing? I was cleaning. I just got the pink stuff in the mail, the cleaner. So I've been, I've been cleaning everything in the house with it to get it all clean. And then I was like, oh my God, we have to leave in an hour. I have to get ready. Now I go in with my favorite stick in the entire world, under stick. It is a double highlight and blush. So I just go in a little bit of blush a little bit goes a long way you can always add more versus you know it's more annoying to cover up but it's so pretty oh i cannot believe it's already sunday and the week's over i'm gonna be doing later tonight a get ready with me get to know me video because i don't post I don't post on YouTube ever, so now that I am going to start my journey with YouTube, I feel like if I'm going to gain any following, I should definitely do a get to know me, get to know who I am before anyone would want to follow me, you know? So then I'm going to go in with a little bit of shimmer. It's my favorite. When I do my no, no, like no makeup makeup looks, I like to do more cream than powder because I just feel like it makes you look more glowy. I also love being glowy. So I think it's looking good so far. Go in with my MAC. I'm just gonna just dab a little bit just so it stays in place, but it's not really giving me much coverage. I'm barely touching any under the eyes, on the neck. up here do you hear that wind it's insane i'm gonna go in with my eyelash curler i'm just gonna curl them a little bit i don't have a lot of lashes after i had a baby and then i also lost a lot of hair and lashes from postpartum so i have like no um intentions on making my lashes look good it's just not possible but i've done the lash extensions and they just don't work for me so this is what I'm going with, and that's okay. Just take a little bit of my Lancome conditioner for my eyes. It's like a, or like a primer for my eyelashes. And I just go ahead and put it on. Bottom two. The first time I ever used this, I didn't know that you're supposed to let it dry. So when I, they sent me it and I tried the mascaras. They sent me the duo. I was like, this is horrible because my lashes look so clumpy. But now that I know you have to let it dry a little bit before you put your color mascara on, it's been working out a lot better. Mascara that they sent me. So we're gonna let this dry for a few minutes. While we do that, we'll put on some lipstick. 
um valentino beauty sent me lipsticks they sent me a bunch so we're just gonna nothing crazy as natural looking as possible this is definitely like a like a natural pink lip okay so now we're gonna go on to the mascara so it's this kind of wand okay and just watch the magic nice now that we fixed that because now i probably messed up because i had to clean my face i should have just waited but get that little bit off so that i can go in and unclump that see i think that does a really good job lifting your lashes like priming them what I'm gonna do quick is literally, this is the prettiest shimmers ever. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of shimmer and just go right there. Just like that. I'm gonna do story times and all that when I do my get ready with me's. What's going on here? But right now my daughter is asleep and I'm really just trying to get ready. But please, I have so many stories. So if you're interested, let me know. I hate how one eye always looks better than the other. Like, why is that? This is the final no makeup makeup look. What do you think? I think I did a pretty damn good job at making it look natural, but still looking pretty and ready for a baby shower. So now I'm going to go get dressed. Okay, now I'm just going to curl my hair very quick. I hate my glasses. I'm going crazy on spring cleaning because I just feel like my house has been a disaster lately. I recently have just been... <laughs> it's been October. Okay, a few months, like five months. Um, yeah, five months that I have been a stay-at-home mom, and let me just tell you, it is a full-time job. Like, I clean every single day, and I just feel like it's not to the potential that I can because I'm busy all day with my toddler, so I've been trying to do a little bit of spring cleaning here and there, and I just feel like it's not good enough. So, I ordered that pink stuff, it's literally called pink stuff, off Amazon to hopefully like really do like a deep clean on my sink my toilets my showers and yet today right before I started getting ready for the party I did my sink and my stove oh my god that stuff is literally crack like it works so freaking well it's insane so I can't wait to do my shower my shower right now is absolutely stained with hair dye because even though I'm a stay-at-home mom Sometimes I do clients on the side that didn't want to go to anybody else when I quit the salon. So right now I just made like a little rigged up shampoo bowl. But the thing is that it's a, it's a salon shampoo bowl. It's not hooked up through the wall to the water. It's just, I got a really, really long hose and that's how I wash their hair. So how am I getting the water? Out. like where's the water going well the water's going into a bucket and then dumping into my bathtub and it is a freaking disaster so like maybe I can get all the stains out of the bathtub with the pink stuff and then I'll just start dumping the bucket outside because I just can't stand like a gross bathtub once spring comes which is tomorrow we're gonna start getting ready to renovate my kitchen so once we renovate the kitchen all the stuff in the garage that's for renovating the kitchen is getting out and I'm making a legit salon in my garage. Thanks for joining me in my little ramble today. I hope you enjoyed me getting ready with you. I'm gonna be posting these once or twice a day. This is my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. This is the final look. I hope you enjoy, have a good day. Make sure to follow me if you enjoy Get Ready With Me is what I'm wearing in a day, clothing hauls. 
I receive a lot of PR from companies through my TikTok and my Instagram, but now I'm trying to focus on growing my YouTube. Just started it today. So I'm going to be posting all of that stuff on here too. So if you like my video, make sure to give me a follow and I'll see you guys later tonight.